guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're doing a B&M haul, pretty big one as well. I've got quite a few bags to get through. Um, but before I do jump into today's haul, firstly, if you want to stick around and subscribe, please do so. If you want to give it a thumbs up as well. If you like B&M hauls in particular, then that really, really helps out my channel. So I would love it if you would do so. I'll also leave my Instagram handles down below if you did want to follow me over on there for more regular daily updates. And before I jump into the B&M haul and show you what I did pick up in store, I want to thank my vitamins, very kindly sponsoring today's video. As you guys know, I am a fan of my vitamins. I'm a customer of theirs before they actually reached out. I use their products anyway. So they are doing a big flash sale in celebration of World Health Day, which is on the 7th, which Wednesday, that is actually my Wednesday's video. So what I might do is might maybe like a what I eat in a day video on Wednesday. If you want that, let me know. Yeah, so they've been very generous enough to give me a 57% off discount code, which is just incredible. So if you did want to check out their products on their website, I will leave a direct link in the description box below. I've just had a new delivery arrive this morning. So I'm going to show you some of the things I have picked up for giving me a bit of a health kick as we lead into the warmer months. So do take advantage of that discount. You just need to simply enter Freya F at checkout. However, that discount code is only valid until the 8th. So you have to be quick. The rest of the month is a 55% off. So you still get a great saving nonetheless. I'll just show you the three that I have been taking on a daily basis. The apple cider vinegar gummies, multivitamin gummies, and the hair, skin, and nails gummies. So these are actually, you can take up to two a day. But I've also added to my collection these, which I've never tried before. So these are the My Vitamins Essentials range. These are the defense shots. So these are jam-packed full of vitamin C to help support your immune system. And these sound delicious as well. Orange and mango flavored, yum. I'm excited to try those. But I also picked up these um, shots as well. These are the pre-workout shots. This is in the flavor sour berry. It has a vitamin C to help reduce tiredness and fatigue and it also has caffeine in there as well. And then to snack on during the day, these are really yummy. Tom is obsessed with these in particular. These are the energy bites. These are peanut butter flavored. I really like the beauty bites. Then I wanted to also add to my daily ritual some cod liver oil, another stockpile of my multivitamin gummies. They're actually like a really yummy sweet treat. And then this vitamin B12 spray to contain contribute to the reduction of fatigue. B12 not only helps support the fatigue, it also helps the health of your hair, skin and nails as well. And then I particularly love the multivitamin ones just because it has the vitamin D in there as well, D3, which will help with the lack of sunshine that we get. And vitamin D is a great defense vitamin to take, but also it helps with anti-aging, which is fun little fact for you. So anyway, they are the bits that I've recently stocked up on. I've also picked up some organic cocoa powder and also some chia seeds which I've been using for baked oats. I'll include that within a what I eat in a day video so that you can see my baked oats recipe. So stay tuned for that on Wednesday if you want to see that. Thanks to my vitamins for kindly sponsoring this part of today's video and now let's get in to the B&M haul. Okay, I'll start with the two biggest items that I have to share with you. The first one is a table. How nice have they, well, okay. Let me just flip it the right way around. How nice is it, how they've styled it? So they've put a really nice kind of magazine and little plant on. And I think this would make a really nice kind of side table in a guest room or like a corner table with like a lamp on or a candle coffee table book as well. So 10 pounds this one is, I got it in white. They did have it in black as well, but I thought I would go for the white aesthetic with this one. And I'm thinking this one in our top floor, once we've renovated, there's a little corner that I know will need a table. So I'm thinking that's gonna go there. We haven't even done our garden yet, so I need to sort that out first. But I think loads of these in the garden would look so nice. So I picked up one just to share with you guys, but also we can just put it out for now. Um, but it's a little citronella candle, so it's an insect repellent bamboo torch handle with a 20 hour burn time, 22 hour burn time actually. These are three pounds, they are new in. And I just think loads of these kind of spiked in the garden or like three or five, like in odd numbers. These would look really nice, all lit up at night, and at only three pounds, I had to just share that with you more than anything. Then they also had this citronella candle. This one was five pounds, and again, for outdoors, this would be lovely if you had like an outdoor table set up whereby you wanted to kind of decorate it a little bit and have maybe some barbecues outside or some 
meals outside and brunch outside would be lovely to have the citronella candle burning in the middle they had this kind of a light wicker design but they also had a darker wicker as well and then i also picked up this for outdoors this is um will be perfect for like temporarily in our garden for when we've pre-renovated and um, also like going to watch time play cricket in the summer we always find that um one of these thrown in the back of your car is super handy so tartan picnic blanket this water resistant backing folds away with carry handle it's 125 by 150 centimeters and this was only five pounds okay let's move on to some householdy type items now first thing i want to stock pile for our kitchen some new wooden utensils this is a bag from the betty winters collection of eight wooden utensils at three pounds so you get plenty in there they're all a really nice light wash wood and then i also got this for the kitchen this was only three pounds and it's in an engraved serving board perfect for chopping but also serving food straight to the table ideal for cheese it's a nice little cheese display board i just thought three pounds for a really nice little cheese board was really good and this is the perfect kind of size for just tom and i and then we could maybe put on some um a different one like some crackers and figs and grapes and chutneys and have this purely for the cheese i also got a new mug i honestly don't know what i was thinking because i have far too many mugs but i just can't help myself but i'm also kind of thinking in the back of my mind because we're renovating we're going to have lots of builders so i'm going to have like a dedicated builder station with their own mugs and they can be the mugs that i'm not like in love with i picked up this one because i thought it reminded me of something that i would see on like zara home or in urban outfitters and this one was only two pound fifty it's a really unique shape as well and size i sound ridiculous but mug lovers out there will know what i mean when you have a favorite mug it makes a difference I also got this cute little basket and quite honestly I don't have a home for this so I need to decide where I'm going to put this maybe in the bathroom with some flannels in that could look quite nice this was three pounds and it's part of their native tribe range that they have in B&M they had a bargain bucket of 10p DVDs 10p and we don't really tend to watch dvds that often but if i see something at such a bargain price i literally can't resist taken is such a classic so i thought i would pick that one up oh i picked this up for the kitchen this was oh no, it's not 15 pounds it was 19.99 i thought it was 15 um russell hobbs though good brand and it is a little big knife block i liked the fact that they were all like matte black as well i think that's gonna look so nice actually sat out on the worktop and i know tom being tom he's the type of person that likes to have everything out whereas i'm like a clutter free organized space zone he likes to just have things out and about easy to grab so i think he'll like this i don't know how good quality they're gonna be because 19.99 for even just for five knives alone is actually quite cheap and to get it on the block and everything i don't know we'll test them out but even if we just have them temporarily until in the future in a nice renovated kitchen tom wants to invest in some really good quality knives for now i think they look really really nice then i also picked up for two pounds these 70 double clip food and freezer bags extra fit bag easy to seal just like one of these ziploc type bags and then i also picked up this for tom really because he um has an office space that he goes and works from at least two if not three times a week and he tends to take overnight oats with him for breakfast or some kind of breakfast so this is a breakfast on the go pot for two pounds they had them in gray and pink and it comes with a little spoon as well which i thought was really handy and you can have like granola in this top section you can have like the yogurt in this section you could have some kind of like a smoothie in here with some granola on top so i really liked that i also picked up this candle now this reminds me of the range that mns do which are renowned for being a really good scent so they had escape restore and unwind unwind was in a black pot this one the escape in the white and then restore was in the brown i'm gonna say they smell okay they're not my favorite but four pounds this one was and corona and everything i didn't smell them in stores so i got home and i was like 
it's all right mandarin lemon and pink grapefruit out of all the scents sounded like kind of a, the most spring-like i like the fact that it was the white one as well i picked it up i don't know if i'll pick it up again moving on where should we go to next i've got some pet bits but i'm going to save them to the end of the video because i appreciate not everyone's got pets i'm going to show you some stationary bits that i got i stocked up on some gift tags i really like these ones that bnm do they're great for christmas birthdays all year round because of the neutral style there's no like kind of pattern on them or anything one pound 29 each and you get 20 in a pack and then i've got this nice Kind of brown and white natural ones and then this black and white one as well if like me you have a stockpile of cards and gift wrap speaking of which i did pick up a couple of cards that i spotted that i thought were quite good to pick up and have a good luck card for 59p i don't have one of these in my stockpile so now i do and then this one i just thought was hilarious one pound 49 and it's got the queen on the front it says happy birthday peasant <laughs> they had quite a few of these like tongue and cheek comedy cards and then last but not least for stationery, i picked up two books and these are a bit of me they're interactive they're creative good for mindfulness practice my life organizer take control for a happier tidy and more more fulfilled life and then the joy of mindful journaling finding serenity through creative expression so these were both uh, retail price of 12.99 but in b&m they were reduced to just three pounds each you could definitely if you want to keep these out on display a little hack of mine i like to get some white paper usually if they actually have a a cover like a paper cover i just flip it inside out but if not just get some white paper and fold it round it's just a plain white or you could even then doodle on the front the actual title these are books that you actually like follow so you kind of read and then every once in a while there's a bit of an interactive section where you can get involved and do a list or an exercise this equally the life organizer has different scales where you can kind of jot down how you're feeling planning so list making all sorts really should i go on to food oh no there's a couple more home bits firstly this which is well i thought it was just like a little kind of figurine ornament display type thing which you could have maybe like this one sat on top of some coffee table books it's actually an oil burner which is so cool so it's only three pounds and it has the oil burning section here at the top and then the um hole at the back for your tea light candle but i mean even if you don't use it as an oil burner i think it's a really like minimal aesthetically pleasing ornament to have out and then i have a couple of household cleaning bits to share as well i wanted to stockpile on some new scents for spring so i picked up this firstly i've never used this before this is from fabulosa it's the washing machine cleaner who knew that they did that this was in fresh breeze scent fresh breeze but they did have other scents available so it's just i think there's two doses yeah two shots so it as and when every month or so i do a washing machine clean a hot wash with that and this was only one pound and then i also picked up these sparkle and shine glass and tile buddies at two pounds for a pack of two obviously i'm a minky lover i have plenty of minky pads but to have a specific glass and tile one i thought i would try out and at only two pounds as well much more affordable than minky i also picked up these in sparkling bloom and yellow poppy let's see if i actually like the scent of these because kind of sounds pretty feminine to me but let's see oh it's definitely feminine but i quite like that oh i like that so these are tumble dryer sheets now we don't have a tumble dryer currently well we actually do in the basement that they left but we've never used it and we'll we'll get new um when the time comes to it but in the meantime i like to use these tumble dryer sheets for like in cushions duvets pillows sofas anywhere really that you can kind of tuck them in and away these were 1.99 for a pack of 34 sheets then i got some mr sheen multi surface polish i like to use this in like our front room where we have the dining table van like tv unit i was gonna say vanity tv vanity no tv unit so this is a pound they did have a spring scent but i actually quite like the scent of the original of this it's a bit of a nostalgic scent a throwback to my childhood of being on polishing duties i actually really enjoyed polishing <laughs> 
just me. And then I also picked up some new flash spray. So I got two to try out. This one is an anti-back one, which I'm always baffled that they're not all anti-back. But anyway, this one is in the scent Apple Blossom. Lovely spring scent. But this scent I think I'll really like because it is in Bright Mandarin. I love that kind of orangey, citrusy um smell around the house these were 1.99 each last but not least for cleaning products i picked up a harpic bleach for the toilet this one is in citrus fresh so again nice and zesty to keep the bathrooms smelling fresh this was only one pound i got three beauty items firstly this batiste dry shampoo i'm a regular user of dry shampoo i'm just going to spritz a bit on this on this <laughs> on my hair now just to see the smell of this one Oh, that's nice. I'm a fan of, honestly, just the original scent. Oh, I cannot wait to get my hair done, honestly. It's in desperate need of some rootage doing. I find that my hair gets greasier quicker when I have just like my natural hair on here. Obviously, when I have bleached highlights, it dries out your hair a bit, so I get away with longer periods in between washes. Anyway, this smells really good. It's Magical and Deep Azure from Batiste. It's a new scent they're doing at $1.99, this one is. Then I also picked up two body washes. We go through these pretty quickly. And one of them is a two-in-one hair and body for men, apparently. I'm going to use this because I like the typical men scent when it comes to, like, body washes, deodorants and things. So this is in Arctic Ocean and Icelandic Moss. And then I also picked up this Lynx Black. So this is actually in the scent Frozen Pear and Cedarwood, which sounds delightful anyway these were about two pounds each something like that so really affordable i find that the beauty section and cleaning section in particular in bnm and home bargains and places like that are cheaper than supermarkets before i show you the pet items i'll show you the foodie bits that i've got for the kitchen food and drink i'm going to say because <sighs> woohoo Pims is the taste of summer for me and we've had a couple of really hot days here in the UK so this was screaming my name and also B&M do 19 crowns which is my favourite red wine if you didn't already know this is the Cabernet Sauvignon 2019 one which actually I don't think I've tried this one because the red that I've tried before isn't a Cabernet Sauvignon and it was also 2020 so this is a new one for me to try. This one is £7.49. And then the PIMS is £11.49 in B&M. We've already had one of these each last night. Me and Tom broke into these. I had one of these, which is a Magnum Double Gold Caramel Billionaire Ice Cream. If you are a fan of Caramac, this is incredible. I'm not usually an ice cream eater. I mean, I, I like it, but... I sometimes, like if I'm craving sweet, I just fancy like a bar of chocolate. But these are so good. And then these, I'm excited to try one of these as well because I'm a big fan of dime. But caramel ice cream with milk chocolate coated dime pieces in there as well. These sound delicious. They had a tober in one of these that I was tempted to pick up as well. You get three in each box and each of these were two pound. In fact, I'm going to go put these back in the freezer now. BRB. Okay. Um, right, moving on. Oh, another drink that I stopped up on for our kitchen. Iron Brew Diet Iron Brew. These were two pound for a pack of six. Liam Perrins, cheese on toast. It's not cheese on toast without Liam Perrins. Worcestershire sauce. Is that how you say it? Worcester sauce. Wush, Worcestershire <laughs> No one can say that word, am I right? Let me know if you're from Worcestershire. Let me know if that was right. Two pounds and nine pence. What a random price point for that, but... That is how much the Liam Perrins was. These are really good. These I like just every once in a while for like a quick and easy lazy lunch type thing. Lunch on the go, John West. This is tuna, lemon, crackled, black pepper salad. These are £1.50 each. For 69 p these are great for the good old TikTok wrap meals. These are so good. If you've never tried them, just find that recipe online, the tortilla wraps TikTok or something like that because basically you, you kind of section off four sections with different fillings, whatever you want to fill them with and you kind of lightly fry them on each side and honestly, they're so good. Now these really are a quick and easy lazy meal, if not even meal, a snack in between meals because I'm pretty sure these were on Slimming World or Weight Watchers or maybe used to be, I don't know, but they're called mugshots, I'm sure you know what a mugshot is. Pasta 
a creamy cheese and I've got a chicken and mushroom. They're less than 2% fat, less than 280 calories, natural flavorings. So yeah, these are 40p. This is new, it's the gooey chocolate chip cookie mix, only one pound for, um, I think eight cookies this one makes. I got this to try, I've seen them sharing it a lot on Instagram. I think it's an Australian brand, a violet crumble it's called. It kind of looks like a crunchy to me, quite big though. This was one pound 29, which kind of seems a lot for this, but I guess it's one of the Australian, they just have so many yummy chocolates and treats and stuff. Speaking of which, this one is, known as being like Australian as well. The Cadbury's Caramilk, which I think will be like Caramac, which I love. And this was 2 dollars So yeah, I think the slightly higher price points for these are because they're Aussies. Oh yum, I got this Lotus Biscoff spread. We all know what this tastes like, delish. And I saw Laura Meacham do baked oats, but with Lotus Biscoff. So I'm gonna try that soon because I think I'm gonna love that. The last of the chocolate treats, I got this pack of nine, random number to have in there, but nine little kind of Ritter Sport um, different flavored chocolates. These are so good, like really, really good. Was it cherries that I ordered some from recently? And ever since, I couldn't get my mind off these because they're delish. And they're a good size, these ones, for just like with a coffee. Then I picked up some sugar-free mints. These are good for like in between meals rather than snacking. I've been told by my dentist, rather than snacking, stick to your meal time. It's not what I eat, it's more how frequent I eat that I need to cut back on. So he said in between meal times and snacking, have sugar-free mints. So I picked up these sugar-free polos. They are different to the regular polos. They're a pound, and then these are as well, the Cool Breeze sugar-free chewing gum. And then for two pounds, this crunchy nut granola. I really like the idea of um, for breakfast, but also there's something about like an evening dessert, cereal, or even sometimes for dinner, if you're not that hungry, say if you've had a big lunch. I love cereal. This was two pounds for this bag. And then last of the foodie items, I picked up some Manuka honey. Manuka honey is usually so expensive. I think this was about five pounds. Uh, this is also a really good treat or um, if you need to get your dog to be occupied or something like say if you're bathing them if they don't like baths or if you nip out. This on like a licky mat is a really good treat, but obviously it's expensive. So it's a treat for them just as much as it is for me. But I love having Manuka honey in my lemon and ginger tonic. If I'm having it as a, like a warm tea to sweeten it up or um, also on like honey, on honey, on yogurt and granola as a breakfast, on toast as well. I've been having honey the last couple of mornings on toast for my breakfast. But yeah, that is everything that I picked up foodie wise. Last but not least, a couple of pet items. I do always love a good browse down the pet section. It used to be that aisle that I just avoided, but now it's one of my favorite apples in B&M. So I picked up this, which I think will keep Barney preoccupied. Two pound 50, this is a hide and treat, one of these fun interactive treat dispenser game type things pop a couple of treats in each section which screw apart um, so you can clean them easily enough. And then they kind of fall down section to section before they're dispensed at the end. And then this, I know people were finding these really hard to get their hands on. So they have these durable squeaky balls from their Scooby-Doo range that they have with loads of treats and toys and everything. And it is a squeak one, I'm not gonna squeak it because I always wake up Barney when I'm editing. Um, but yeah, this was £2.50, they had loads of different colors. Blue and yellow is apparently the only colours that dogs see, so I went for the blue and yellow one. And I think he will like this because sometimes with tennis balls, uh, he just kind of bites off the furry part of the tennis ball. This I've actually taken out, but I thought I would show you anyway. It's a cooling toy. With the warm weather approaching at £2.50, you fill this what looks like a, a lolly. So you fill it with water, freeze it, and then there are little holes that they, as they're biting it, it's good for their teething, but it also keeps them cool. I got another one of these. He's munched through his last one. It's a cheese bone, which is one of these Himalayan yak chew type things. Just quite good on their digestive system. It's not too intense and... I think puppies from three months can have this, yeah. And then I think he's a fish lover because whenever I do eat my tuna salads, these ones, he goes crazy. We actually sometimes use tuna as treats out and walk for training and things, but I picked up these salmon stick dog treats, high in protein, low in flat, 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 
gluten free. I might try them with one of these later. So that is everything that I picked up from B&M. I hope you guys enjoyed this pretty lengthy haul. Thank you once again to my vitamins for very kindly sponsoring today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Stay tuned for my next video where I'll do what I eat in a day if you guys are keen for that. And yeah, hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.